Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to more Perizno Dwarves Only. In the last episode, we had King Bergnar award the city of Crane to us, so we now have our very own city from which we can uh, recruit nobles and do other stuff, so let's start by taking a look at that. We can manage the garrison here, and we've got a lot of guys in here. We could actually, if we wish, we could go ahead and take some out of here, but I purposefully loaded it up with my own troops because we don't want this easily being taken when we're not there. We can also recruit nobles here. And we can get nine Kaikoth Iron Fists, so that's 11,000 gold, but money's looking pretty good for us, so I'll do that. We can manage our kingdom here as well, so we can hire an advisor. And we can get household guards as guards in towns, apparently. I'm not sure how we get those to be our own troops, like, in our army, though, but... Let's see, let's manage the town. So far we have a messenger post. I think we're next gonna get the blacksmith forge, because this makes it so... Uh, during a siege, every minute, your ammo and your troops' ammo is, is uh, refilled. So that's really useful as a defensive thing. I think we'll go ahead and start building that. It'll take 17 days. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. This is very good. So, yeah, I hope you all have had a good New Year's and um, everything is good with you. And uh, I think what we're going to do now is just go take a look at some of these castles around here. It looks like Olive Castle is under siege, so let's see. And actually, it turns out that Durzad is over here with the, with the other dwarves, and he is actually the new marshal. And I think we... I think he's summoned us to campaign, so let's go talk to him. Um, I have good, hardened soldiers with me. Alright, so we're gonna join along with Durzad. He used to be the marshal early on, if you remember. And then it was somebody else, and now it's him again. And then it was me, and now it's him again. So... But it looks like they're just kind of aimlessly wandering around. And apparently somebody left us and joined the Drahara. That'll happen, people will defect and join different factions. But overall, I think our war with Drahara is going pretty well. And I'm going to stick by the side of my fellow dwarves. Durzad keeps being like, hey, I, I, I got this stupid quest for you. Um, he wants you to scout Bolgan, Eska, and Zedukan. Um, how's about no, because then I get separated from everyone, and then I die, so I'd rather not. Looks like they're laying siege to Bardak Castle. Let's see if they can actually go follow through with it before they run off in a bunch of different directions. Alright, so we're, let's just wait here for a bit. And of course they get distracted and they run away for no reason. Um, it's actually because they're going to chase off the uh, Traharns from Olive Castle. I honestly think we should go for Omegon. But, yeah, it looks like we're just kind of maneuvering around out here. So yeah, they're they're kind of holding up an Omegon and they want to retake Olive Castle, which has like nothing in its garrison. Um, <clears throat> some deserters are fighting with some Traharn lords there. Or a Traharn guy there. The deserters have a bunch of prisoners with them. Alright, so, okay, good. Now they're going in to attack Bardak Castle. So we'll just join the next assault. This shouldn't take too long at all. And, uh, let's just keep our shield up so we don't get shot with some arrows as we make our approach. But everybody, just charge up. They, d they only have a couple dozen defenders in here, so this won't take too long. We were here before. I think we fought a couple sieges here already. But, yeah, we're kind of... What, what, what we really want to do, and this was my plan before, was that we would get Trahara to... Uh, we would bait them into attacking Crane while we garrisoned it, and that way we would be able to... Kind of, even if they had all their guys, we could defend the city and hold against them and wear down their numbers a lot that way. That's what I was really hoping to do, but they it seems they haven't taken the bait. They haven't actually gone for Crane yet. If they do, we're going to have to go back and, uh, and uh, fight them there. But at least we got the other dwarves here by our side so we don't get outnumbered. And let's see here. Boom. Let's get, get our usual headshots on them. And this won't take too long. 
So yeah, that was kind of the original plan, but now I guess we're gonna just roll along with Durzad and the other dwarves, and yeah, hopefully we can uh, take take out some more castles. It's been a bunch of episodes now that we're just fighting with uh, Jahara, and right there we took the castle, very good, no casualties. 67 killed on the enemy side though, and no good loot. And uh, you know what, that's all good, I don't need any prisoners or anything. Alright, so we retook Bardak Castle now, and somehow it has 250 garrison in it. I'm not sure from where. I guess they garrisoned it with some of their own guys, I don't know. I'm actually not sure, how, like, how, how does the garrison work when the AI takes it? Is it, do they put their own people there, or... Does it just give, like, a certain amount of troops? 250, yeah, that's all. That seems like a lot. They don't seem like they put 250 guys in there, though. Alright, I don't- I have no idea. Alright. Durzad, we're gonna accompany you. Please don't be an idiot this time. And it looks like he's just heading back in this direction. Okay. Yeah, there's Traharans over here. This has 199 garrison, so it's not too bad. And I guess Durzad went into some more castle. And there's a battle over here, so let's get over get over here. Alright. We're gonna help our ally. We severely outnumber the enemy, fortunately. So let's go ahead and give him a charge. And let's just get to it. <clears throat> and uh yeah. And then, you know, it'll take some time to defeat these guys, but then we'll move on to other factions and we'll see some more different variety in the factions we're fighting. Actually, everybody just follow me, follow me. Let's not get any unnecessary casualties. Okay, that guy's getting swarmed. Alright, some guys just charge. I just sent them charging into their deaths by accident. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Alright, that was a point blank kill. Nice, there we go. Crossbow is so OP. Alright. Hello there. There we go, good job boys. Okay, uh, I don't want to shoot my own tigers, but, uh, yeah, we just can't get separated. Even if we have only one lord by our side, then we have a much better chance of surviving than if we're all alone. And since we don't have the marshal ship, we can't, like, we can ask them to follow us, I guess, or we can tell them to besiege a fortress, but there's no telling with the warband AI whether they actually stake around to besiege that castle, so it is what it is. Alright, I'm going to do a rally here, and then heal. There we go. Do that little exploit there. Big seam in the ground here. Interesting. Big straight line there. Alright, there's just a few red specks left, and we're just about done here. And, yeah, there we go. That's it. Very good, very good. Ehab's bodyguard killed by a dwarf tiger knight. Alright, so we lost a tiger knight. Allies lost one. We killed 63. Very good. Okay, stop. I yield to you. Alright, sure. Call back your dogs. You're my prisoner. Okay. And they got. we actually got a nice prisoner hall here, so we can rescue these dwarves, add them to our forces. We love to see that. Come on in, boys. Join us. Yes, join the great army. The army of the dwarves. Alright, we'll take these prisoners, why not? A little bit of loot to sell. We almost don't even need to take loot at this point, because just selling prisoners and, and getting the tariffs from uh, Crane is supporting us financially. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty 
be solid. I don't want to get too far from Crane in case they attack, though. Alright, let's accompany Durzad. Okay. Alright, what's going on over here? An escort. Alright, he got defeated, though. Yeah, alright, good. Aleph is under siege. Durzad is bothering me with some stupid stuff again. Come on. We gotta put a bigger garrison in here, too. Emir Marshallis. Alright, let's not get too far distracted here. Alright, let's see. I think what we want to do is go for Omegon Castle or Salonsir Castle next. So let's actually talk to Durzad here. And let's say, um... My basic course of action is a fortress that can easily be taken. Go to Omegon Castle. Okay, he doesn't want to do it. Then that means he probably won't want to do Salancier. Ah, yep. See, this is the problem. This is why we need to be the marshal. This is why we need to be the marshal and not these freaking idiots, man. They don't know what they're doing. We'll take those ransom money offers, sure. And how are we doing on money? Yeah, we got 300,000, so... We're looking pretty solid. We're making a lot of money. We're actually making money, not losing it now. Like, just from our incomes of having the city. So, that's why we gotta hold Crane. Um, <clears throat> Bolgan and Kuzba... No, I, I'm not doing it, because the second I do it, I'm gonna get ganged up on by, like, ten ar armies and die. That's why you don't do those stupid quests they give you. You just stick by them and and uh, if you get in a fight, you have them by your side. But come on, I want them to do something. I want, like, what are they even doing? They're not doing anything. Come on, can I uh, suggest the course of action? Can you please attack Omegon? He's not doing it. Uh it is what it is. I gotta just deal with it. Um, let's see. What? How many do they have in Omegon? They got 312, plus all those guys. Yeah, it's really annoying. These AIs are not doing shit. They're just milling about aimlessly, with no clear plan in sight. Let's see if we can convince the other ones to follow us. Then let's 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 talk to Vogal. Let's see if we can get him to follow us. Hey. Um. Why don't you follow me? Okay, good. We got Vogald on our side. And let's see if we can take... Uh, who else is good? Um, Gomer has got 117. That's not bad at all. Can I talk to you, br bruh? Yeah? Gomer? Hey, uh, hey, Gomer. Um, may I suggest a course of action? I got a plan. Alright, good. We got Gomer and we got Vogald. Because Durzad is just randomly going everywhere all over the place. No idea what he's doing. If this is a ladder assault, we can get it done basically instantly. Um, cause yeah, Barombra has insane engineering now. His engineering and his surgery skills are both at 10. Uh, Doet got to some freaking hack on guy. Alright, uh, it's a siege tower assault. Now, it's gonna take a little bit longer. But let's just go for it. We got, between us, a pretty solid army. Let's see, uh, I'm not going to do the math right in my head right away, but it looks like these Draharans are kind of spinning around over here. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. There's a lot of them. Um, okay, yeah. Let's see, how many do they have? They got a lot. Do we take the fight? Do we take the fight in the field? Okay, um... Another eight hours. Okay, they're not they're not coming to, to attack us. They're, they're too scared. With just two guys here with decent-sized armies, we're, like, they're too scared to attack us. Alright, we're totally gonna take Omegon Castle. Let me, uh, do a save here. And... It's gonna take four more hours. Okay, what are they gonna do? Yeah, see? They got all those guys and they're too scared. 
And then this guy comes in. This guy's just Leroy Jenkins in here with 82 men against 456 men. What is he thinking? What are you thinking, bro? You got a death wish? Alright, dwarves, let's roll out. Look at these badass troops we got. Dudes with freaking axes and riding on their tigers and shit. And you got, what do you got? Some, some stupid guy with a bow on a horse? Alright, everyone charge. Come on. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, let's get into it, boys. Charge, everyone charge. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Look at all of our boys here. I really like that we can also recruit more nobles now that we got a city. So we can get those iron fists. And they are expensive, but that's because they're very strong. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's actually a vanguard. That's even stronger than the iron fist. Yeah. I got a good feeling about this about this war with Chihara. We, we just got to keep pushing and being strategic about our engagements here and um, I think I think that the, the AI Lords will have different personalities too and that might affect how likely they are to attack versus stay away from you because like this guy just randomly attacked all of us and got his ass kicked while the other ones were kind of just milling about but they could have totally taken a fight and had a fair shot against us probably if they just decided to do it but they're too scared. They're too scared. And that's why we're gonna win. Let's wrap up this battle. I'm, I want to get into the siege here. The siege tower siege. Alright, good, good, good. Well done, men. Under a cloudy sky. We had zero casualties. We killed 77. You want honors of war? You know what? You got it, bruh. I got you. Don't worry about it. That was a very stupid move of you. Got your army destroyed for no reason. <laughs> Alright. And now we're going to lead our soldiers in an assault. Alright. Alright, boys. Let's go for it. And... Let's see. We're going to have to keep our troops near the siege tower, because... The way this works is your troops need to be... I think, like, six of them will be... Uh, like three on each side and only then will the siege tower move if your troops are not near it then the siege tower will not go anywhere so let's start sniping on them here there we go there we go And yeah, it's always the annoying part, is just getting the, through this arrow barrage at the beginning. It might take a few casualties here or there. Like right there, I just heard what we had one. Yeah, they killed a the mountain warrior there. It's the ones that don't have shields that have the toughest time. Come on. All right, everybody, let's push up. We're almost, we're almost there. I'm gonna do a heal. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Just keep shooting on him. And, uh, almost there, guys. Just a little more. Alright, now it's gonna drop down. Okay, everyone charge! And then I think I'll, uh, I'll go up here. Let's go. 
Into the breach, men! Alright, I'm just gonna get behind them here. Oh crap, I'm getting shot by arrows. That's not good. Am I gonna get into the situation here where I'm just like in the back by myself? Getting wailed on? Hold on, I gotta I gotta hold the sprint button here. Ah oh, crap, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. We'll be fine. Well we're just gonna let this play out. Um Let's see. Yeah, they had archers over here that were causing problems. That wasn't my best performance, but... We're gonna take some casualties here, too, by the look of it. But we got so many men, I think we'll be alright. <clears throat> and uh, where are they spawning in? They're spawning in from this gate over here. Okay. And then they got another archer tower full of guys right here. And another one over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's... There we go, space bar to make the camera go fast. There we go. Alright, but now we're pouring into the breach here. We've managed to get onto the wall and form our little death ball here. And, uh, this is just gonna be fine. It just... It's just the archers that are, I'm really concerned with. But, yeah. We're gonna let this play out, and then I will probably take things from there once it's over. Alright, so with that, we have succeeded. Let's take a look at our casualties. We lost 31 killed, 44 wounded. Our allies lost 40 killed, 88 wounded. But the enemy lost 351 killed and 40 wounded. Very good. This guy managed to escape. Who cares? Now the good thing is, we're able to rescue a bunch of really strong troops from the prisons here, and we're going to refill our ranks for th the from the losses with these guys right here. Very good, yes, we like to see that. And, let's see, we can get some more Kaikoth troops here, and anybody else? Yeah, sure, footmen, fine, we'll take them. And clansmen, why not? A uh, dwarf trooper somehow in here. Probably a prisoner from a battle I lost. And uh, that looks to be about it. Actually, there's some highland crossbowmen. For some reason, I never... I always f miss those. Okay. Fill up on prisoners. Very good. And we're not looking too bad. Very good. Let's take some of this loot load ourselves up with treasures and prisoners, and request that it is awarded to us. Very good. Alright. Now, let's see. We should probably go sell our loot and prisoners and such. And let's get some more upgrades. And I do see that big swarm of Draharans on the, on the horizon. I'm going to do a quick save here. And let's see, now we got Omegon Castle, but if we leave, these guys are going to just besiege it and take it very quickly. So let's see, maybe we go ahead and we wait here for some time. Tolrania is at war. Um, the Marshal is pissed because we stopped uh, following him around. But it looks like these Traharns are going to try to t retake o uh, Omegon Castle. Hold on a second. Now there's a battle going on over here. What are the numbers looking like? Looking pretty bad for the dwarf side there. Um, now I could try to sally out or I could just wait here in the castle. It looks like they're going to intercept that battle over there. Okay. The Draharans look to be kicking a lot of dwarf butt right now. And right there, we made peace with Jahara, apparently. So, we're gonna be able to hold on to our stuff. And now, this is looking good. The, I think the next target is gonna be Salansir Castle, and then Bulgan. And then maybe Desert Outpost, too. That That is actually a fort. So, so that is a fort that I think Lakil is attached to. So, this is looking good. Like, the dwarves have expanded out a lot. We're gonna have to go visit King Bergnar and talk to him. And, uh, let's just go... Let's head back to Crane. And then we'll sell our prisoners and our loot. 
And then we're probably gonna have to go... Oh, there's a tournament here, actually. Not like tournaments really matter that much anymore at this point in the game, but... Yeah. Let's see. And then... We gotta sell our prisoners. Let's see, should we do the tournament for old time's sake? Maybe, uh, just see if we can... win in the tournament. Might not be a bad idea. Um... Let's do a save. And how are we doing? We can get some more upgrades, sure. And, uh, may let's see, should we do the tournament? Maybe mix it up a little bit from just battles and sieges all the time? See how good I am? You know what, sure, let's go in. For old time's sake, I'm gonna do a tournament here. Two teams with seven fighters each, okay. Okay, let's see, we gotta... This guy. Very good. Why do I have blue, but I'm fighting the blue team? That's kind of confusing, is it not? That doesn't make sense. They gotta patch that. First no devs. Patch the tournaments. They're gonna confuse all of the people fighting. And they're gonna fight their friends. And we don't want that. We wanna fight our enemies. Okay, oops. Oh. There we go. Very good. <clears throat> and then, yeah, we do get renown from tournaments, and more renown is always a, a good idea. Okay, now we have a lance and we're on a horse. Let's see, we gotta go... I'm wearing blue, so let me guess, I'm fighting the blue team, right? Miss that lance. I'm not doing a lancer build with this character. I have done that in other Persno playthroughs, or uh, Mountain Blade playthroughs at least. Like, I, I remember the very first, I think the first Mountain Blade game I played was with fire and sword. And I remember my character being like a, like a, like a Hungarian Hussar type guy, or like a Polish Hussar, like winged Hussar guy with a, I think a sword, a lance, and then uh, a bow and arrow, or maybe a gun? I don't remember, I, but I do remember Lansing was super OP in that er those early Mountain Blade games. Alright, this guy is also fighting me. I'm just gonna stab with it because I don't have the, uh, the speed to, to couch it right now. Alright, let's see. Can we get a nice couch lance on him? But yeah, Mountain Blade, like... There's so many mods of this game, and this is one of the best ones I've played, honestly. And I'd, I'd really like for... I mean, some of the Bannerlord mods are actually getting a lot more updates done. Like, they have active people working on them. Getting them patched up and more into a complete state. But none of them are really, like, fully done, and the best ones that everyone's excited for are still not out yet. Like, years after Bannerlords come out, they're still working on it. Um, oh, are you an enemy too? See, I don't know what team I'm on, because I'm always just wearing blue. So you gotta look what color you, you have oh, when you, uh, start. Can I, uh, defeat this guy? There we go. Yeah. Alright. It's nice to unwind with a tournament, though, because it's like... I think one issue I have with Mount Blade, and... I don't know if, like, other people have done playthroughs, or, like, done playthroughs for YouTube, but a lot of the gameplay starts to feel kind of samey. Like, even when I'm watching other people's playthroughs, I sometimes get this feeling of like, alright, here's another battle, here's another siege, here's another run around on the horse and hit guys with a sword. Like, I know that there are quests in Prisno, so maybe I should plan, plan out to do some of the quests, but it just doesn't seem like I have so much money on, on this character already. Like, I don't really know what is beneficial to do. I guess I could do the mead brewer thing. Or like maybe do a quest. Nice, there we go. Very good. That was a good couch, Lance. 
Alright, we get 20,000. But yeah, I could look into doing some other quests just to mix it up. But uh, let's just take a look one more time. Let's manage this town. Nine more days for the blacksmith. Very good. And I think uh, I think we're gonna call it there for today. We're we're currently at peace with Jahara, but I bet that's gonna <laughs> not last very long. We're gonna try to probably in the next one go for Salansir Castle and Bulgan and maybe defeat some of their other armies. But then you know. We're looking solid, and we got our own city now. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really enjoying to the comments you leave and all the thoughts and suggestions. So, leave one if you have it, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace.